Anyway, so I haven't done this in, I think, maybe two or three or four months. I always get a little bit nervous when I start it. But I'm going to be talking about this yogurt. You can subscribe and like the video. I hope you will. And got to have the obligatory thumbnail. <laughs> Mom's nice china. And look how how this little cup thing fits right there like that. Isn't that beautiful? So this is fruit on the bottom. It's actually from Publix. And this is mixed berry. Mixed berry. We're going to open it up right here. Don't want to make a mess, right? And here's leftover Christmas napkins because this is a cheap channel and we don't make any money here hardly. My trademark little fork. I would use a spoon except this is in a cup and if I used, if it was made of, um, it could be noisy if it was like a you know, regular sort of cup. This is what it looks like because the fruit is on the bottom and the yogurt is on the top. So let's go and swish this around and we'll get down to the well there are two ways you can do this. You can eat it off the right off the top like this. Wow that is so good. And by the way this is my annual um, fruit on the fruit on the bottom. I used to buy one of every flavor for some years, like maybe it'd be seven or eight different flavors. But this has a high sugar content. So then it was last year I got five, and this year I got only three. So since I now have, uh, since I'm now a diabetic, I have to be more careful. Mm. The fruit at the bottom is so good. But even the, this at the top is so good too. We're still not down to the fruit yet. Another thing you can do though is to, to mix it all up. Some people like it that way. I think I'm gonna go ahead and dig down here. It's a little bit more. Mmm, it's a beautiful sunny day here, and I'm filming this video in the kitchen. Now I'm down to the fruit. Here, I'll show you. Did that not look good or what? Like I said, I'm using one of these, one of the, one of my three yogurts for this year. I get them at the beginning of the year. I'm using it for this video, which leads me to to just kind of enjoy without any kind of pressure. Mm. The first bite into the fruit. Yummy, yummy, yummy. It's actually four o'clock in the afternoon. Of course, this will kind of mess with my supper. Spoil it just a little bit, but I had a good lunch. Went to, <clears throat> went to Longhorns and got the kids meal burger. I told the waitress at the beginning, we we both did, me and my wife, that we want the kids meal, the kids drink, the small drink. But then she brought us a regular drink and was gonna, and she charged us for it. But then as we, as soon as we told her about the mistake, she graciously changed it. I mean, we always get the the kids drink, but I'm not going to pay three and a half dollars for a, for a glass of tea.
So we tipped her very well because we're not supposed to do that, really. Uh, adults are supposed to be charged for the adult drinks. But the waitresses never do. Only one did. One did a few years ago. Here's what this looks like. Now we're down to the real to the real fruit on the bottom. <clears throat> if I keep doing these some of these food videos, maybe I'll review other kinds of yogurt. Seem like something I would want to do. Mm. I cherish every single bite of this because I I get these so rarely now. There are many other yogurts that I can have, but I'm such a sugar addict. These are by far the most delicious for me. I have my magnifying glass in case I can't read some things on the bottle, on the, on the container, because I like to talk about them too. Maybe this is a good time to go over it. And it's from Publix, of course. Like I said, a 2% saturated, actually it's a 5% saturated fat. I won't read everything. 4% cholesterol. The only bad thing is 45% sugar. That's 29 grams and then they add 22 my question is why do you have to add so much sugar to it I wish I had thought to call these people they have a phone number on here because if they do I will call them right here in this video like I've done before well I'll be I don't see any phone number here it does have a 20% calcium, which is good. Vitamin D, 15%. All kinds of ingredients here. Many of them I don't, I don't really know, but they're mostly natural. There's raspberries, blackberries, blueberries. Yeah, a mixture of different fruits. And the shelf life is about, I guess, a month or two. And live cultures. I'm going to put this in the freezer for a few minutes. Because I knew I'd be talking during the video, of course. And I turned the, I remember to turn the refrigerator off so it wouldn't make any noise. Like when I was single, and like 30 and 40 years ago, we always got Dannon yogurt. So this really is kind of copying Dannon, the fruit on the bottom. So I don't know if there's a trademark or not on the Dannon yogurt, because Dannon was the first. And we'd be driving along and see the Dannon yogurt truck and, uh, and say, Look, Mom, the Dannon yogurt truck. And we carried that joke on until my 30s and 40s. Like a little kid, you know.
It just doesn't last long enough. Of course, you could have two or three of these. If I was were I younger and healthier, I'm sure that I would. Mm. And I go into a food store sometimes and I think, wow, look at all this stuff. I wish they had a I wish YouTube had been invented whenever I was young. I mean, you could go through the through the candy section and make a hundred videos. But now it's kind of off limits for me. So I was checking online about the fruit on the bottom, on the bottom, and yes, yogurt. This kind of yogurt was pioneered by Dannon. I don't know if I can read this without my glasses or not. I'll try. <clears throat> this is an excerpt. I'm not going to read the whole thing, just kind of paraphrase it. It was from uh, uh, some food and wine magazine. It was about how fruit got the fruit got to be at the bottom of the yogurt cup. I'm going to need my glasses. Come on. So it says here, the question is, do you stir it all together or scoop it out one layered spoonful at a time, like I was showing you? Well, anyway, it was introduced to, to America by Dannon in 1942. And the founder of the company was Daniel Carrasso. He'd been making yogurt in Europe since 1919. So he came to the U.S. in the 40s, and he brought this part of the business with him. It was originally known as Danone, and it's still that way in the rest of the world. It's a Bronx-based company. And Americans were, were enjoyed sweeter foods, so they were trying to get, new, get people to, to buy this yogurt, and it was proving difficult. In the first few years, it was run out of a, out of a tiny little one-room shop, maybe making like a couple of hundred cups a day. So in '47, Carrasso introduced this uh, fruit, fruit compote. It's a French word, which I probably mispronounced, and that's what became known as fruit on the bottom yogurt. And at the time, the U.S. food safety standards required that dairy products could not be mixed with other stuff in it. So putting the fruit on the top or blending it would have, uh, would have broken this uh, rule or this law. So he convinced, the, he convinced the health authorities that by putting the fruit on the bottom and the cultured milk on top, that it would be safe. So now 10 million servings of it are made daily. 10 million daily. And there's all kinds of different flavors that they have now. So that's how it became a household name. But the fruit on the bottom yogurt really hasn't changed that much. So that's my exciting story about Dannon fruit on the bottom. Remember, this is Publix. And frankly, to me, it's just as, as good as I remember the Dannon variety being, but I just can't find it in the stores. And if I do, I'm sure I'll make this video again. I think that's about all I have today. And I thank you for watching the video. And I thank the refrigerator for not turning on during the middle of the video and making a bunch of noise. And I just uh, really thank God for this beautiful sunny day and for having my what health I do have. So all the best to you. Peace out.